I'll tell you, our nighttime stars are doing right well here, he said to Sound Rural. Uh, so far, they've picked up $7,000, and this is only your second day. Now you're going for an additional 5000 George, you're still the captain. It'll be up to you, but confer after each question. We like to confer loudly because we like to listen in. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Now, here, we're gonna <laughs> here, comes the, here comes the first problem. We want you, for a $500 starter, we want you to match the famous uh, tourist attraction to the correct city. Match the tourist attraction to the correct city. Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to show you, we're going to name a tourist attraction, then show you a pair of cities. You choose the one that you think is right. Jack brought 5000 bucks. Ready now? As teacher used to say, let's put on our thinking caps. The first tourist attraction is the Astrodome. And the Astrodome is located in Houston or in New Orleans. They'll confer, uh, but... Yeah, uh, it's Houston. Yeah. Right? Is it? Home is it? Of, uh, it is? Roy Heifetz and you all sure? those people. Yes. Uh, George, George, George has confidence here. I have confidence. Yes, Captain. Nancy Reagan. No, no, no. <laughs> um, we, we think it's Houston. Houston yes. is correct, George. You have $500. <laughs> Nancy Reagan was a good girl. Was a good one. Was a good you want to go on? Yeah. You want to go yeah, on? we want to keep going. Okay, okay, there they go. Match the famous tourist attraction to the correct city. Tourist attraction is St. Patrick's Cathedral. And the city is Paris or New York. Boy, no, I'll tell you. St. Patrick's is in New it's York. Are you aware with that if you ever visited St. Patrick's? <laughs> I have no clue. I've never Saint visited Benton. it, but if Been you back say so, all. I'm going to go I'm with you. I'm very confident. Nice I'm, the I'm on my own. You're on your own. You must answer in flawless Latin. In flawless Latin, I'm going to say... <laughs> <laughs> no answer in English. New York City. You got it. You have another $1,000 here. <laughs> going on, are you? For We're going to keep going. Okay, $1,500 or nothing. The tourist attraction in this case is the Bridge of Sighs. The bridge of S I G H S size, you know. Oh, that's asthma. Anyway, the uh, bridge of size. Is it in Belfast or Venice? Have your conference and you uh, have a pass. There's a lot of bridges in Venice. 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 They, need Venice it. they have everywhere. to have bridges in Venice. They do. And I they probably no. sigh if I stand near, near the edge. Down the water, they sigh. Yes, we have an answer. You have an answer? <laughs> we hope it is Venice. It is Venice. Your hope was taken <laughs> care of. You have fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, that's right. Are you going on? Okay. Remember, remember, George is captain. You have one pass that you may use if you think you need it. So far, you've done so well. It's now two thousand dollars or nothing. You're only two right answers away from the five thousand dollars. And here's the famous tourist attraction. It is Madame Tussauds Original Wax Museum. Is it in London or Paris? Have your conference if you think you need um, the House of Women. Remember the House of Women? Yeah. Twice? Do you remember? Yeah, you know that? That took place in London. Yeah, yeah, House of did. Wax. yeah. And I think that's probably where. It's like it's a French name. Good choice. It's all in play you guys. Play pass, George. I think We're gonna. Uh, Want to play? Yeah, let's play. We're gonna play. Okay. Answer is London. Good play. Answer's right. You now have two thousand in the bank. You can take it and quit. And go. All right, go, go. All right. Keep going. All right, go for it. Well, here's the situation. This next one is for five thousand dollars or nothing. Remembering you have a pass if you're unsure. Pretty good. The tourist attraction for five <laughs> for five thousand dollars. The tourist attraction is the Pentagon. The Pentagon. Is it in <laughs> Washington or Arlington? I think Make it over and remember you have tricky. a pass if that's you should tricky. want to use it. I know, sure. that's why they're all laughing. It is no, tricky. That's true. Um, it is, yeah. The Pentagon, is it across the river there in Arlington? I think it's in Washington. I think we better pass. Like, that's a tough pass. That's going to use your pass? We're going to use yeah. our pass. Don't blame me. It is, it is sort of a you know tricky. What? Actually, the answer was. Arlington, Arlington, which you all thought, but yes. it was, you know, it's free. Well, let's see how well you do with this one. This is it. You know more passes. It's now $5,000 or nothing. I'm rooting for you, and I think you're going to do well. You do? Yeah, yeah. The tourist attraction is Fort Sumter. Fort Sumter. The cities are Charleston or Jamestown for $5,000 or nothing. Because they started the Civil War there. This was the mm -hmm. first shots that were fired. Well, that's why that? they gave it to us, because it's a they, famous place. That's right. We won it. We won it. South Carolina or Charleston? South Carolina or Charleston? We don't have to. It doesn't matter what country it it's in. We don't have to but say But which one is it if you know? Charleston. Charleston. That's my guess. Our captain says Charleston. Well, our captain... She said it. No, you took the words right out of our captain. May I assume she was speaking She was speaking for me and our whole team. Charleston is your answer. Charleston is our answer. You were committed. We are committed. You got 5,000 bucks on that as well. 
Congratulations, team. You have $12,000 for your favorite charity. We'll be back here in a minute. Start a new game. Good luck. I don't mean to degrade you people, but they're really going like a... Okay, I will. You people are doing... No, you're doing well. They're just doing so well over here with $12,000. You have $1,000. We're going to begin with you this time, so maybe you'll get this when you win the first round. Here's a question. Everybody listen now. $12,000 for nighttime, $1,000 for daytime. That's about the scale. Okay. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. I know. If you've ever... <laughs> I know. Uh, if, <laughs> I know you know. If, if you've ever suffered through a bad cold, help is on the way. Now, at least some free advice. When asked in a nationwide survey, what should a person with a bad cold be given, people across the country offered some cures and some comforts. Now, we seek the eight most mentioned non-prescription items. Okay, we're going to begin with our date. James, you ought to be good with this yeah, one. you got your own cold you're carrying with you. <laughs> Leanne, do you want to give me an answer, one of those cold cures, or do you want a challenge? Yes, I've had 4,000 units this morning myself of vitamin C. Vitamin C is a right answer, Leanne. Well done. Well, so I have a cold, so... James now, who speaks else? from experience. Yeah. Uh, Hot toddy. Hot toddy. Right answer, James. Well done. Now we come to Anne Marie. Anne Marie, what do you think? You want to mention a cure or challenge a cause? <laughs> well, I know some people who give chicken soup. Chicken soup. That's your answer. Yeah. It is right. It is the number three answer. Chicken soup, huh? <laughs> I had a doctor in New York, and he said the worst thing in the world you can do for anyone is give him his chicken mother's soup. chicken soup. His mother's <laughs> anyway, all right, we're back to you, Leanne. Chicken soup notwithstanding, what do you want to do, answer or challenge? I'm going to answer. All right. And I'm going to say lots of liquids. Lots of liquids. More information, more specific. That's all I can give you because that's all I have here. Juices. Juices. Right answer. Yay! Well done. Okay. Four in a row. That, that takes care of all juices. James, you're up. I am going to challenge, and I think, Jenny Lee. All right, now, Jenny Lee, you have been challenged. Here's a question. We're looking for eight of the most, seven of the eight most mentioned non-prescription cold cure items. What do you say, Jenny Lee? Answer? You must answer now because you've been challenged. Like uh, uh, Vicks? Vicks. Vapor rub? Come on. Wrong answer. I'm sorry. Back to the bench, please. Good challenge, James. I've been going to the bench all week. I know. It's, well, you'll have a lot of company before it's over. Anne Marie, we're back to you. We need three more right answers. You have two opponents. How do you want to play it? Is aspirin considered to... Uh... It's not a prescription item, no. I'd say aspirin. Aspirin is her guess. It is correct. You have another one. It is the number one. Aspirin is the number one. We'll be back to you, Leanne, in a moment. First, let me run down the, the answers given. Vitamin C, uh, whiskey. Was whiskey mentioned? Juice. Oh, hot toddy. I was going to say, where was I? I missed that. Uh, hot toddy, uh, chicken soup, juice, and aspirin. Leanne, we're over to you now. Do you want to answer a challenge? We have five right answers. I'm, I'm going to go with another answer, and I'm going to say plenty, lots and lots of rest, Leanne. Lots of rest. Right answer. We have six in a row. James. Rest is number two. James, you want to answer a challenge? Challenge one more time. Okay. George, George your challenge. Okay. You have to come up with an answer to stay in the game. I'm ready. I will say you have to have a lot of uh, tea and honey. Tea and honey. Wrong answer, and that puts you out of there. That puts you up back there. And you and Marie have it now. One opponent left. What do you want to do? I will challenge. Okay, your challenge, Marla. Just if, want to send me to the bench. If you miss this one, it's for the round. Got a cold? Take contact. Contact is a, as a wrong, and the daytime stars have won the run. That's it in just a moment. Right now, we're going to pause and ask you one, two, three, come back.